everybody, Roderick here with the Hayden Eon Milk Frother, and up until right now, this very moment, I never knew frothing was a thing, and I never knew frothing was a word. I mean, it's a weird word. It doesn't even roll off your tongue. Frother. Frother. See, it's kind of hard to say, it's weird. So from what I understand, frothing is used to make cappuccinos and lattes if you want your milk or your coffee and your beverage to be nice and foamy. Personally, I don't like foamy milk, but that's just me. When it comes to frothing options, you have two different options available at your disposal. You can have hot foamy milk or cold silky milk. Obviously not at the same time, but it sounds pretty cool to me. They say the best milk temperature for lattes and cappuccinos are between 140 and 158 degrees Fahrenheit, so this will heat it up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit right smack dab in the middle. And it's really quick when it does it. It only takes between one to two minutes to have the whole job completely done. That's pretty awesome. It has a blue and red LED indicator for cold and hot frothing. It turns off when it's done, and the inside is made out of stainless steel for durability and easy cleanability. Cleanability? I think that's a word. So let's take a look at this thing. Automatic electric milk frother. We got some specs and warnings on the side. Milk frothing and heating, cold milk frothing, and milk heating. Three different options. Inside the box, we have some tips for some great frothing. It looks like non-dairy milk is harder to froth than dairy milk because it has less protein. A thank you card with some more tips. On instruction manual, we got a little thingy thing for some cleaning clean. We have the power base. These whisks are used for frothing and heating, and this one's just used for heating. And then we have the frother itself, it looks nice. Taking a look at the base first, we have that nice chrome trim with the white design. It feels really light, a little bit too plasticky for my taste, although you're not really gonna be throwing this around. On the bottom, we do have three rubber feet to keep it in place, and a decent length power cord to plug it into the wall. And then back to the frother itself, we have two buttons here, one for cold frothing, one for hot frothing. Nice chrome handle here, really like the way it looks and feels. We have three feet on the bottom as well as the attachment for the base. We have a see-through lid so you can see the progress. Down in the middle is where you're gonna attach the whisk, just like that. And it'll simply just sit on top of the base and you're good to go. I have it plugged in some power, let's check this thing out. Let's probably put the lid on first just in case. Cold. Oh, it spins, look at that. Pretty quiet. And then we can press hot. I'm not sure what it's doing different, but probably something. And now, who's ready to froth? Froth, I still can't get over that word. I have some nice cold milk. 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside we have the minimum and maximum fill line for frothing, as well as the maximum for heating. Let's start off by getting a nice cool froth. Let's just pour this on in. I might have went past the line a little bit. Put the lid on. And now press the cool button. All right, it's spinning all right, but is it getting foamy or frothy? Oh, it is getting bigger. Look at that, it's rising. Oh yeah, it's definitely frothy. And there we go, it automatically turned off and it looks nice and foamy. Ooh, listen to that. Let's pour it on out.
definitely foamy, definitely frothy. At a cool 63 degrees. Look at that foam. Next up, let's go for a hot milk without frothing with the non-frothing whisk. Just like that, add some milk. Place the lid and push the button. Oh, it got really foamy. This is pretty fun to watch. And we're done. It looks like it got a little frothy. It said it was gonna have a little bit of froth, but not too much, but it kind of looks the same as when we frothed it. Okay, good news, the outside is still relatively cool. The inside, however, 107 degrees. Oh, look at that, it actually isn't foamy. It's just warm milk. It does have a little bit of foam, but that's to be expected. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but there is smoke coming out of here. I mean, it is 107 degrees after all. 127 degrees oh it is definitely hot to touch and now we want to froth this up and have it really hot so let's pour it back in you can see not very frothy whatsoever place the lid and push the button Oh, you can definitely tell it's heating up. Look at that fog. And we're done. Oh, look at that. That is definite froth. We're looking at 111 degrees. Oh, look at all that foam. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a ton of steam again. 125 degrees. Oh, but just look at all that foam. Definite froth. Wow, you guys, definitely impressed with this frother and the word frother, whoever came up with that is a freaking genius. But wow, it works so fast, it's so foamy, look at that. And it's so hot too, like I can't even touch this. Like, it's so hot. And to be perfectly honest, when I started pouring the hot milk into the glass, I started panicking because I remembered, it clicked in my head, don't pour hot liquid into a glass after a cold liquid is in there, otherwise it'll shatter. So I was like, uh-oh, or is it the other way around? Or does it go both ways? I'm not really sure. Something about that, but it didn't shatter. Luckily, I'm amazed. <laughs> Should have probably got a mug, but I thought this would be the best way to show you guys the results since it's completely see-through and also, it's pretty fancy. Whether you want cold froth, hot milk, or hot broth, this is the thing for you, awesome. It worked in like a minute to two minutes. It was awesome, automatically turned off when it was done and heated up to the perfect temperature. Wow, definitely impressed. Like, that's so much foam. 
It's so fun. I can't believe it. If you want to pick up one of these, I'll throw the link down below in the description. Make sure you guys comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you use frothy milk for. Do you guys prefer it in your lattes, cappuccinos, just some frothy chocolate milk? It's up to you. It's your world. I'm just living in it. <laughs> Thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media. And I'll see you in the next one.